Hello, my name is Dr. Colette Whiting. I'm an optometrist, also known as an eye doctor, and I'm happy to be here with you tonight to read you a book. So an optometrist is someone who checks people's eyes to help them see their best. So a visit to the optometrist can be fun. Uh, if you come to see me, what I'm gonna do is have you look at different pictures or different letters to help make sure that you can see far away like a bird in the sky or up close to read your book. I'm going to try on some 3D glasses with you to make sure your eyes work together as a team so that you can catch a ball or you can hit a ball and you can read comfortably. I'm also going to shine some lights in your eyes to make sure your eyes are healthy on the outside and on the inside. And that's part of what you might find when you visit the eye doctor. I see people of every age, from babies who are six months old to people that are 100 years old to help them see their best. Some people need help to see their best. So I might prescribe glasses or contact lenses or vision therapy to help people use their eyes and their vision to the best of their abilities. Some things we can do to keep our eyes healthy are to eat healthy and to wear our sunglasses when we're outdoors. We want to limit that time on our handheld screens and we want to make sure we don't hold our screens too close. That's not good for our eyes. And we want to spend more time outdoors because more time outdoors helps to keep us healthy and our eyes healthy too. I love my library, the Shelburne Library. I come here often. I love to garden and they have such a great selection of gardening books that I've, I think I've read them all. And I, my children also love to come here when they were small and now that they're big too. So I know that you'll love the library as well. So tonight I'm going to read you a book about a dog named Arlo. Arlo Needs Glasses by Barney Salzberg. So Arlo Needs Glasses. I love my dog Arlo. He likes to play. But one day Arlo couldn't catch anymore. Every time I threw the ball, it flew, or zoomed, or whizzed, or bopped him on the nose. I thought maybe Arlo forgot how to catch, so I showed him what to do. It was no use. Arlo still couldn't catch. I decided Arlo would need to have his eyes checked. The eye doctor asked him to read the eye chart. This is how the chart looked to me. This is how the chart looked up to Arlo. The eye doctor asked Arlo to look in a machine called a ferropter. The message was clear. Arlo needed glasses. Arlo tried on different glasses. He tried on movie star glasses. He tried on superhero glasses. He tried on mad scientist glasses. Then he found the perfect pair, Arlo glasses. Now Arlo loves to play catch again. Got it. But there's something he loves to do even more. Arlo loves to read. We want to thank everyone for participating in another one of our virtual programs. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.